Day four is coming to an end. Three days and 40 minutes is all that's left in the 1.5 million challenge. Uh, I'm on 835, which is about 55%. So behind, but doing well, I think. I'm not worried. We've got the, let's have a look. What have we got to come up? We've got the Sanctum Rewards coming, which of course is 500 gems plus uh, the speed ups and some valuable resources. So that's going to be a nice boost. It's looking like I'm going to get four whilst I'm tucked up in bed because it's going to be about three o'clock UK time. So that's a nuisance, but we have to just do that happens sometimes. Sometimes you're out of sync with the kingdom you're in, but uh, I will wake up to some rewards, which is good. Also, though, there's the monument reward as well. Another 2000 gems. So we're going to have at least 4,000 gems, 4,700, including what I've got now to play with. I've also got lots and lots of action point potions left. Where are they? I have used some today. I've used about five or 6,000 because I really wanted to push to get the blacksmiths open and get the materials built in, which is so important for your sunset team. So... Still got that to use when the Barbarians are level 11. Uh, of course, lots of blue Loha. I can do forts now, which is good. I've only done one, but I'm going to need to do some to finish off the Rise of Kingdoms last day event. Where is it? Barbarian Invasion. So I need to do at least 14 forts. Hopefully, I'll maybe I well, I think I can wait till Loha finishes and then I'll be able to do that. As you see, this event finishes before the clock on my glory event. So I'm going to have, um, what is it? Three, uh, 17 hours after that event. And this event rewards quite a big boost. Clio is going to be another 15,000 power. I can maybe move Sun Tzu forward. Or those 20 silver keys, you'll be surprised how much that gives you. Or a last minute 20 one hour speed ups. Uh, I've also got more sign-in spoils to come from the new year. So, things are looking good. Uh, I'm reasonably happy with where I am. I think you're always a bit behind at this point. You've run out, I've run out of speed-ups, um, so I'm running on empty. I could use the 7-day here for the um, City Hall 17, but it would mean I'd have to get the barracks from 7 to 16 which is a massive task and not hugely reward not hugely rewarding in terms of power oh well no maybe not 72 well but i mean it's a, a lot cheaper to do the gold mines how are we doing there 14 9 8 and 1 so plenty of power still to be had there 10 8 10 and 5 Plenty of power to be had there in, in the little power pack, as I call it. Just working on the walls, watch dials at the moment, because that's one of the um, quest rewards for Rise of Kingdoms. What else have we got to look at? Let's have a look at the breakdown. So, building power, about half where it needs to be, but that should be where I'm going to be doing the bulk of my moving now. Uh, hopefully another... Easy 40,000 in commander power. Troop power, again, when I start to spend the AP on Loha, troop power will really start to move, which I'm hoping is going to help me through level 25 of the expedition. Technology power, obviously I'm hoping that's going to start moving. I could do the start the tier 3s, which I think, are, what are they, 27,000 or 22,000? They're a pretty big return. Let's have a look. 27,000 so that would be useful also it progresses the event timeline so that's possibly what I'm aiming at at the moment just getting jewelry done so that I can farm gems and once I can farm gems uh, I mean if you put the time in you can start to force things to happen well, let's have a look oh, let's have a look at the VIP shop I am nearly brought all of the one hour speed ups um, I haven't touched the very overpriced 5 minute speed ups and I'll try and avoid that if I can. 
but I have been clearing the courier station like crazy. Right, well that's where we are today. Things are going well. I'm liking this account. Um, three or four people are definitely going to go for it with me and I really wish them good luck. I think maybe one of them at least is a barb chainer and they seem to be having a better time than the others. But it is difficult. If you're watching this, please just keep pushing. Keep pushing power. The game does start to throw some rewards at you during the end of this week. And I say, if you can be online when the Sanctums, this seems a very odd little kingdom. There's a lot of, look, little alliances with just one Sanctum that you might be able to get in on for extra reward. So, thanks for following this series. Let's keep on pushing. I'm liking where we're going. I really hope we're going to get the 1.5 million and make a really smart account. Then after the 1.5 million, it'll be a bit of sunset. Then after the sunset, it'll be trying to find the best kingdom for us to move into for a really sweet KVK1 and lots of rewards. Thanks for watching.